I watch a lot of different things on TV. I don't watch any of the home improvement shows because I live in an apartment where home improvement doesn't really take effect or is considered. I watch cooking shows, Judge Judy, cops shows, kind of an eclectic viewing. But I was watching a show called Take Taste of History. And they were talking about what people ate in years gone by. And he had a menu from 1906. And one of the breakfast items on there was really interesting. I'd never thought of it that way, but uh, it's rather unusual. So that's what I'm going to make this morning. Okay, this is a very simple sandwich. Actually, it's uh, not a sandwich, it's an open face sandwich. It began with a slice of toast, some fried bologna, and cheese. The cheese went on top of the toast. Now, those of you younger people who have never had bologna, just think of hot dog. But at one time, bologna was the lunch meat for everybody. It came in three sizes. It came in one about half this big. This is a middle size, and then they made a big one, which was about the size of the bottom of this skillet here. And it was completely cooked when you got it. And really all it needed was heating. Okay, it's getting hot. You can tell it is by the way it cups there. And a lot of times it'll make a squealing sound. And they used to call it the squealing pig. It's hot. So it goes on the top of there. And then the last thing is a sunny side up egg. Or over easy, whichever one that you wanted. Now I could do my old ice cube thing and put a ice cube in there, but all I'm going to do is cover it. And let it cook with on the bottom and still be running on top. Yep, perfect. There it is an open-faced breakfast sandwich from 1906 over a hundred years ago and I'll take this puppy to the table and see what it is okay there is my breakfast of a sunny side up egg fried bologna cheese on toast served open face which was a popular way of serving sandwiches in those days, they knew it'd be kind of ghost to sit there and eat a sandwich with your hands at, at a restaurant table. Get some of that egg in there. I'm not like the governor of New Jersey who tried to pass the law outlawing runny eggs. Well, you know, that's not bad at all. In fact, it's just pretty darn good. It's been years since I've had a slice of bologna, too.
You know, the most interesting part of it was the price. It was 21 cents and came with coffee or tea. That slice of bologna cost more than 21 cents. But I guess we make a bit more money these days than we did in 110 years ago. So if you want to do something different, give this a try.